Hey y'all, thank you so much for hopping on my channel today. If you're new, my name is Tish and this is Tish Loves Home. So today, Caroline and I are gonna be getting ready for our family summer celebration. I started doing this a couple of years ago. I just try to get everybody together and kind of do like a 4th of July patriotic theme. And we use this time just to kind of touch base with each other, celebrate all the things that have been going on in everybody's lives. We have a lot of birthdays and anniversaries in the summer. So it's just kind of one big celebration all at the same time. And it's kind of a halfway point between Christmas. So just kind of a little fun to kind of get together in the summer. So today, we are gonna start prepping some of the food that we're gonna have. I'm also gonna be setting up my island. We have um, some gift bags that I'm doing for all the quote kiddos, but the grandchildren in the family, I'm gonna do a gift bag for each of them. Sadly, my oldest daughter, Hope, and her husband, Justin, can't be with us. They're getting ready to move, but the rest of them will be, and we've got a few extra little people coming this year, so we're excited about that. Um, and then we're gonna start cooking some of the things on our menu. I did give a few items to some of the other folks coming, so we wouldn't have all of it to do. But today we're gonna be doing some baking. I'm gonna attempt to do some sort of cookie cake. I've never done it before, so it may be a flop. We're gonna do these little thumbprint cookies, at least that's what I call them, and they're really cute. And they're also very yummy, so we're gonna do those. Caroline's gonna be making some brownies. We've got charcuterie cups to make, just a lot of different things that we're gonna be working on. We probably won't get it all done today. The party is actually not until tomorrow night, so I gave myself a little bit of extra time to get ready, so we'll do some today, and then we'll finish tomorrow, and then I'll be able to share with you how everything turns out and some of the pictures from the party. So. We gotta get started. I've got a late start already. It's almost 11 o'clock and I haven't done any of this yet. So, let's get rolling. You were there when I was here Falling like tears so you came You didn't, don't have to pretend That you want me cause you don't care so Let me just say a couple things first of all before I start rolling these out. This mixer is new to me. My husband got it for me for Christmas and it's July and I don't think I've used it yet. That probably sounds terrible, um, but I think Caroline's used it, but I got to find the little manual that goes with it because I'm sure there are things on it that I don't know. So I'm fumbling around with it a little bit because I'm trying to get used to it. So the next thing that I'm going to do now that the mixture's done, then you're going to take these mini muffin cookie sheets like these and they're supposed to make about 36, we'll see. I'm gonna spray these down, you roll them into little balls, bake them 350 for 12 minutes, and then when they come out, we're gonna take a little, kind of a rounded spoon and just do a little indention in the top. That's where I get the thumbprint thing from, even though it's not really a thumbprint. And then I'll fill them with some icing and put some sprinkles on them. Friends, yeah, you. Tell you something, I can live without you But I always say that I don't want to Cause I'm really stuck, I love out you I think mighty but I really like you Do you wanna be you, wanna know why Wanna be your first but the last one I'm not good to be your life I just wanna know definitely a clean as you go kind of girl. That's just kind of how I've always been. So I've just gotten through wiping off the counters, 
and cleaning out that bowl because I know Caroline's going to need it. And now I'm going to grab all of my serving pieces that I brought down and also the plates that I already have sitting out on the tables. And I'm going to clean those off really good so they'll be ready for tomorrow night. <music> the cookie cake um haven't done this before so i found it on instagram all that you're supposed to do is take an eight inch pan mash up your cookie dough put sprinkles on it bake it for 20 minutes um at 350 so here goes we're gonna see what happens mess it up have a rose around your blades we're caught it up and never let This really was not a big deal at all. It was actually really easy. And this was a small one. I call this a mini cookie cake. You could definitely get two packs of the cookie dough and make a bigger one. And I look forward to trying that out some. I love these little stars that I put on it. And then I added these sprinkles. That was really a little too much. If I had to do it again, I would have just left that off. But um, I am looking forward to trying some different things and using some different um, frosting and doing some piping and maybe writing on it. So it was fun, easy, quick little way to make a cookie cake and you could do them for all kinds of different occasions. So now that we have our pretzels and our mixture in the bag, you're gonna wanna shake it all up and make sure all the pretzels get nice and coated. Shake it all up. And once all your pretzels have been coated, you're gonna want it set, set it for 30 minutes face down. And then after the 30 minutes, you'll flip it over for another 30 minutes. So they'll be sitting in this for an hour. Um, you can go longer than an hour. I feel like honestly, it probably makes them taste better. Okay, so now we're gonna let them sit like this for 30 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, so I am about to take these out of the pan. I'm gonna use this little tray to put them on, and then I'm going to ice them, and I'm cheating this time because I've got so much to do. I went ahead and just bought this already in the bag. I've decided I'm just gonna put white on it, and then I'm just gonna put some of my patriotic little sprinkles, and that'll make a cute little dessert tray. Seeing the stars reminds me of you.
said, Caroline is doing the chocolate covered pretzels. And we started just taking like half of the pretzel and dipping it and then putting the sprinkles on it instead of the whole pretzel. It's just, you just get that little sweet and salty taste without having to have all the sugar, but it's also a lot easier. It's not nearly as messy. Finishing up the cookie cake, um, like I said, it really wasn't that big of a deal. I kept it very simple this time. This was just the pre-made icing, but I'm trying to come up with some things and ideas uh, that I can do for different holidays and try some different little cute little tips and things on it. But it was really sweet. So I'm going to put together a little gift bag for each of the quote, kids. I mean, they're not really kids anymore, but I asked them some of their favorite snacks and drinks. So I went to Dollar Tree and they had a pack of blue for $1.25 and a pack of red, three for $1.25 in each. So we're going to use those and I'm going to put their names on the little tags. I'm going to use some of this wired garland to put it on with. I have found at Christmas time and, you know, anytime, if you can get something that's wired, it's so, it's really cute, but it's also really easy to put on a package. So I'm going to use that and then I'm going to tie a little bit of ribbon around it. I got this ribbon at Michael's, I think, and it was 50% off. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. So that is the next project. red and blue plates at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take my white chalk pen and I am writing on here like some of the accomplishments, things that have happened the past several months or birthdays and anniversaries that are coming up for everybody and then I'm going to scatter these throughout the kitchen so while we're getting our food we can all see what everybody's got going on okay i have these finished they are so cute i can't wait to get them all up we have been very busy in this kitchen today caroline's still over there working we got a few things still cooling i think we are about through with our prep for today um the bags turned out really cute we've got to put the goodies in those for them but I think we're going to clean up for the day, take a break, and then tomorrow we'll be setting the island and finishing up a few of our food items and just getting ready for the party. I got all of my dishes over here and they're all washed and cleaned. So day one of prep is up. Falling for you every time. Falling in the worst way. favorite colors a new meaning remember that time that I caught you laughing at words I didn't mean to say
this is a process for me. As you can see, I move things around over and over, try it here, try it there. <laughs> I do this all the time when I'm decorating, especially when I'm setting up the island for the food and trying to decide where everything's going to go. But it, you know, it's just kind of a relaxing thing just to move it all around. So here is our table after I got my little napkins and things in here. So it's kind of set and ready for tonight. I've got to add one extra plate because we're gonna need an extra person in here and in the kitchen area. And these are the little DG plates. Aren't they so cute? I just love them. I have the little, these actually came from DG too. So I ended up ordering these napkins because I just wanted a softer blue to match these plates. I didn't want to do anything too busy with that. And then these little rings I had, they came from Hobby Lobby years ago. And then I just added the little utensils. So what we typically do is I just tell everybody to get their plate and wherever they get their plate, that's where they sit. Of course, they mess that up sometimes, but that's okay. That's usually what we do. So this room is ready. I took my little carpet cleaner and cleaned the carpet this morning and I'll probably give it a quick vacuum before we eat tonight. So I have the island pretty much set. I played around with that this morning. Um, it's a little extra this year, but I, I don't know. Sometimes I just get in the mood that I wanna make it busier and more than other years. And for some reason this year, I just decided I wanted to do, do a little extra. So I have all of my things out and I think I know where everything's gonna go food wise. I do have them bringing a few things in. So I've left some space and you know we can kind of travel around and we will have to have two of us sitting up here so i'm about to put the stars up with everybody's little things that they have going on for this year i'm going to get those taped up and put the drinks in the bags to go in their little goodie bags and then we've got a few food items to finish and i think we'll be all set i did use this is the little piece i redid recently and I just put all my little extra stuff down here. I have loved having this piece. It's kind of like when I'm prepping for something, I have a spot just to put everything out of the way until I need it. And we did that with some of the food and stuff that we were gonna be using. So Caroline is working on the Oreo balls, finishing those. And then we're gonna kind of get things cleaned up and we, we should be in pretty good shape for tonight. I want it better than the weekend, weekend Take it back to what we said, just friends I don't want to tell you something new I never said I fought for you I want it better than the weekend You can't show me just what I'm missing Pretend I don't want to tell you something new I never said I fought for you We don't gotta fix it Nothing that I'm missing I don't know if we went wrong Shouldn't have to take this long Wasting my days away with so here is the table in the kitchen. It's all set. I have all the kids' little snack bags ready. I am going to have to add one more chair over there, so we're going to do that um, to give us one extra seat. But everybody's got their little bag with the goodies that they tell me that they like. So we are ready to go in here. So there's a lot going on in this kitchen and it's a lot. I don't typically have quite this much, but you know, for a party every once in a while, it's just fun. Now I couldn't live like this because there's too much visual clutter, but <laughs> for tonight, I think it'll be fun. So we did, everybody has their little star all up. It's the first time I've done them this way. I've been putting them on the table on chalkboards, but we just wanted to try something different. So everybody can see their little star of all their things all over here. So yeah, it's, it's fun. We've got a few more dishes to finish and decide on placement and we will be ready. Captain's getting all ready for the party. Got our little picture props ready in here. Got some flags over here, this little frame, and then these. I saw at Walmart this year, and I really want them for next year. It was like this big foam eagle head, and they had like Lady Liberty. Y'all, they were $25 each, so I'm like, mm. So we're going to run in there after 4th of July. Maybe they'll have them on sale. I just thought that was too much. But anyway, I think we are ready for pictures. Take me a little
so these are the little charcuterie cups. We bought the um, little brown things that they're in off Amazon. Came in a pack of a lot of them because Caroline used some last year when we were getting ready for some of the wedding stuff. But we put olives, pickles, um, cheese, pepperoni. We had the little star cheese on the top of each one. So three or four different things. And in the bottom, I just scattered some different types of nuts. Some people like those, some people don't. It's just more as a little filler than anything else. They're really cute. Um, they're kind of healthy, but they are rather time consuming. It's just a matter of sitting there and just, you know, going over and over again with each, each little one. But we got those done and got those plated and they looked really good with all the other things on the table. and Justin just showing you a little bit about what's happening around here we are so sad that y'all aren't with us but we do understand um I did y'all's little stars of all your things so we wouldn't leave you two out Caroline's been my little helper <laughs> getting all of our dessert stuff doing the chicken we got some other things coming. I made a little cookie cake this year, so we sure wish you guys were here. We're gonna miss you, but we'll see you in a couple of days.
watching. I hope this was a fun video for you. We had a really fun night. I look forward to doing this every year and trying to get some ideas as I'm doing it of things I want to do differently next year. So thanks so much for watching. Why you got there? I don't even care about